Alright guys, so the Extreme Z Awakening details for the Int Kid Goku dropped a few hours ago, and uh, as always, I feel like people are maybe overreacting a little bit uh, in a negative way, because I already see a lot of people talking about how disappointed they are with his EZA details, and honestly, I just don't feel that way, you know? So let's uh, quickly break down his details first, and then... We'll uh, discuss further. So, starting with his pre-Extreme Z Awakening details for comparison purposes, his leader skill was DB Saga category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or youth category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%. Super attack causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, and passive is uh, attack and defense plus 77%, plus an additional attack boost up to 59%, the more HP remaining, the greater the attack boost, and an additional defense uh, boost by up to 59%, the less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. And then a key plus 1, an attack and defense plus 10% at the start of each turn, up to attack and defense plus 59%, and performs a critical hit when HP is 59% or less once only. His active skill caused ultimate damage and can be activated when HP is 59% or less once only. So that was the Kid Goku at release uh, literally like three years ago, right? Now let's pop over to the Extreme Z Awakening now. His new leader skill is DB Saga or Youth category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 170%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, that's good. Causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. So instead of, I believe, medium chance before, which was 30%, now it is a 50% chance to stun the enemy for two turns. Now, as far as the leader skill goes, um, obviously the youth side has been improved. The DB Saga side remains exactly the same, which is um, not a surprise per se, just like a little bit disappointing I guess but this is what they've been doing for a lot of EZAs recently so like I said I was expecting this but it would have been nice to get like 180% for DB Saga or something like that right um okay from there we have the passive which is attack and defense plus 159% as opposed to 77% before and then plus an additional attack boost by up to 59% the more HP remaining the greater the attack boost which is the same but then an additional defense boost by up to 159%, the less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost before it was only 59% defense boost based on HP remaining, right? And then after that we get key plus 2, attack and defense plus 20% at the start of each turn, up to attack and defense uh, plus 59%. So essentially um, the total boost here is the same, but you're getting double the attack and defense with each appearance, so you're going to be able to max that out a lot quicker than before. And then he also launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack. Once again, that's 50% chance when HP is 59% or more, and then performs a critical hit when HP is 59% uh, or less, and then plus an additional attack plus 59% when attacking and stuns the attacked enemy once only when HP is 59% or less when attacking. So the interesting thing is that this uh, guaranteed critical when HP is 59% or less was only a one-time thing before the Extreme Z Awakening, right? But after the Extreme Z Awakening, at least based on how the passive is structured, it looks like any time you're below 59% HP, you're gonna get guaranteed crits, which is nice, right? And then uh, the one-time thing is this additional 59% attack boost, and also a guaranteed stun, I guess the first time you fall below 59% HP. So that first time in like Super Battle Road or Legendary Goku event or whatever, when you fall below 59%, you're getting a guaranteed crit, you're getting a guaranteed stun, and you're also getting that additional 59% attack, which is gonna be calculated separately, which means that he's gonna be hitting stupidly, stupidly hard on that turn. And as far as his active skill goes, I think it's the same, causes ultimate damage, can be activated when HP is 59% or less once only. 
And of course, his passive is calculated separately, so let's uh, quickly check that out. Uh, his additional attack boost when attacking is calculated separately for a total attack boost of 311.81% when attacking, plus an additional attack plus uh, 367%, depending on your HP remaining, and then plus an additional attack boost of up to 460%, starting from the fifth turn, which is, I'm assuming, when uh, the passive is fully built up, right? Like this part uh, right here is fully built up. So, guys, um, I don't really understand where all the hate comes from, because he's going to be hitting really, really hard. Um, of course, he's getting this additional attack here, but has a 50% chance to become a super attack when you're above 59% HP. So, you know, double supers pretty often, maybe triple supers with some hidden potential investment. And, uh, you know, defensively, uh, I think he's going to be good. I mean, of course, this raising of defense is good. Uh, it's going to help with that. We're getting up to 159% here. We get 159% here. We get 59% more here. So I'm not saying like he's going to be an amazing tank. You know, he will take damage in some of the hardest events like Red Zone uh, or Extreme Super Battle Road and so on and so forth, right? Like he is going to, you know, put you in some trouble sometimes, but he is going to be a good tank, you know? And uh, as far as like where I would rank him or where I would place him among like all the Dokkan Fest DZAs, I think he's... You know, around the same level as maybe like Metal Cooler, um, possibly a bit better than Metal Cooler. I'm not really sure. I can't say that with 100% certainty, but I think he's better than like Full Power Super Saiyan 4, who I still think is quite solid. I think Full Power Super Saiyan 4 is decent, but I think he's better than Full Power Super Saiyan 4. I think he's either at the same level or possibly even better than Full, uh, sorry, than Metal Cooler. And, uh, yeah, it's just a very, very good Extreme Z Awakening, guys. I mean, it's not the best we've seen, that's for sure. And if you go into all of these, you know, detailed reveals with the expectation that's going to be, like, the next best EZ in, in, in the game, it's going to be, like, another STR Cooler, then, yeah, you're going to be disappointed because he's not as good as STR Cooler. That's pretty obvious, right? But STR Cooler is the best T-U-R Dokkan Fest, sorry, uh, T-U-R, I guess, yeah, T-U-R Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakening in the game right now, right? So, he's not on that level, but he's definitely more than acceptable, <laughs> in my opinion. So, yeah, I don't understand all the hate, but, um, I guess at the end of the day, it's all based on expectations, right? So, um, I was expecting him to be pretty good. He turned out to be more than pretty good. He turned out to be quite good. So, uh, that is the, uh, Int Kid Go Hot. Sorry, Kid, Int Kid Go. I just woke up. Not sure if you can tell, but talking is a bit difficult right now. But yeah, uh, that is the Int Kid Goku Extreme Z Awakening. And, uh, of course, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are impressed by him, if you're disappointed, or if you're just kind of in between, you know, think he's good. Nothing crazy, but not that bad either. That's kind of where I am with him right now. You know, I don't think he's insane. I don't think he's terrible. He's just a good Extreme Z Awakening. So that's all I got to say. That is going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Oh, by the way. Happy Thanksgiving to all my fellow Canadians out there. I know the U.S. Thanksgiving, of course, is, of course, a little bit later in the year, but uh, today is officially Canadian Thanksgiving. So, as a Canadian, uh, happy Thanksgiving to anybody that's celebrating. And, uh, yeah, like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Bria. Signing out.